Welcome to the Rusted Garden and this is my fourth video in a series of six that I'm doing on growing mushrooms indoors and this is an experiment and if you've watched all the videos I am by no means a professional mushroom grower and you can see by the progress of the first three videos so this isn't at this point to teach you how to do this this is my learning process and thought it'd be a fun experiment what we've learned what I've learned is one you can do spore prints and let's see you can see those dark rings that's from taking the top of a mushroom setting it down the spores drop down I originally did it on index cards thought that that was a bad idea because there could be chemicals in it that hurt the spores the best way to do it is an aluminum foil you can scrape these spores create a solution inject them into your substrate and mushrooms are supposed to grow it's more challenging to do it that way and I haven't been successful but it works people do it all the time you can buy um, grain this is grain seed that has uh, spores and different um, stages of growth on air of the pink oyster mushroom this didn't really work for me this is supposed to work I tried mushroom slices that didn't work and you can see on here 28 that's when I did the last video these were oyster grain and hay oysters uh, on cardboard the grain I did mushroom slices they didn't really grow when I started the video on 2.8 I also ordered wooden dowels that have mushroom mycelium grown through them and you can see all this white that is mushroom growth that's the mycelium and this actually grew a whole lot from when I received it back on uh, 228 so today is the 14th of March so I've had these for two weeks and you can see the growth this is probably the best way if you're starting out like me to get some viable mushroom mycelium that you can put into your substrate I'm gonna do a video on setting that up in video number five so on 28 oyster grain went in there 2.8, these are I think oyster slices, maybe some grain going into the substrate. This was just cardboard. They didn't grow. On 2.28, I had no growth. So 20 days after the 8th, nothing. So I inserted the wood dowels. And I just want to show you 14 days later what's been going on with the oyster mushrooms on... You can see on the underside right there that pattern that's the mycelium starting to grow so the spore the uh, dowels have brought the mycelium the oyster mushroom mycelium let me move my thumb to you know my substrate and it's effective and again I'll let this grow but I'm also going to set up a new project using just the uh, wooden dowels and here's all my supplies over here and I'm going to grow hopefully some oyster mushrooms that way but that's one container that was the cardboard and again that's 14 days so really within a week to two weeks using the wooden dowels you should have some sort of growth going yeah going or growing I guess this is the hay and again in the search of substrates let's see if I can look right down in there I'm gonna tilt this a few ways all that strand a cotton light strand that is mycelium growth that is what you want let me keep tilting it and again these are dropped in on February 28th today's the 14th so failure and success I'm learning you know what's the best way for a new mushroom grower to have success and I would say right now again the wooden dowels and you can get them online just search uh, mushrooms the wooden dowels they normally get put into logs holes are drilled and they're put in there and you can see in here now that cotton like growth um, still learning I don't think that's a fungus I think that's part of it but you can see whoa the mycelium strands up here well let's try again let's see right in there and they're faintly going all over the cardboard 
So that's working. Let's see if there's an. I think there was another one. Yeah, you can just see it. And that, from that white cotton, like there's the strands coming out. So I haven't gotten any green algae, green mold, red fungus, brown fungus. I haven't gotten anything that looks alarming. If you guys have been growing mushrooms, you can tell me if I have any problems happening there. And let's see, this is the hardwood. This was actually hardwood mulch, which I don't recommend because it's decomposed. Typically, from what I read, the mushrooms, the oyster mushrooms, like, and that's white um, cotton-like strands right in there. The mushrooms like cleaner hardwood. Let's just rip through here and see what's going on. So there's some growth, not sure how well it's going to turn out, but clean hardwood that's not decomposing. They prefer, you know, fresher hardwood. And maybe that might come in the way of hardwood wood chips for like smoking on uh, a barbecue or something along that lines. And, you know, I guess while we're here, we'll do one more. This was also the wooden dowels added to hardwood, but in between pieces of Cardboard that. That right there was actually my mushroom slices that I dropped in. And you can see right over here that white strand, that's mycelium. So and mycelium, ooh, that's nice. Right in there. And let's see. Now look at that. That's some of the green. And some dowel. So, uh, and more. So this is growing actually really nicely. And because I was impatient and mixed everything, I'm not sure exactly where the strands are coming from. It might be coming from all three. The grain, the sliced mushroom, and the wood dowels. But that's excellent. So, I will keep that growing. But I just wanted to show you the update, give you an idea mostly of what the mycelium looks like so you can identify it. And it's the cotton-like strands. And the most success that I had, I believe, is, is ordering these dowels that have um, mycelium growing on them and they ship them to you. And they're going to cost you anywhere for 50 to 100 dowels, anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars. And that's really just up to you where you decide to purchase them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Gives you an update on my progress. The next video will be setting up containers like this with the substrate, with the growing medium that I like best and trying to really get good growth of the mycelium for the oyster mushrooms. And then the final video will hopefully um, show, you, show you the growth of them growing in a bigger container and the mushrooms popping. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.